What is going on everybody? We are here for video number three on how to make a mobile game with JavaScript. Now I know I said at the end of the last video that we were going to start coding. I want to see if we're going to have enough time because there's still a couple of things I need to show you uh, just to make your life a little bit easier. So I'm just going to jump right into this and I'm going to be moving a little bit quickly but if you get lost or confused just leave a question in the comments and I will get back to you very quickly. Now I'm assuming that some of you have coding experience already which means you probably already have a text editor that you use. Uh, I'm just going to go over the text editor I use and show you where you can download it. So I'm just going to open up a new browser window here and I'm just going to go ahead and type in adobe.com now you may already have a Creative Cloud subscription. Um, if you don't, I believe you can still get this program without it. It's just called Edge Code. So if you just come over here to the search bar and just type in Edge Code, it should pop up. And then from there, you'd be able to follow the link and download it from their site. Now there are a ton of amazing text editors out there. This is just the one I use. And, you know, feel free to use whichever one you want. Um, I just don't know of any others so I can't really recommend any but once you've got your text editor you've basically got everything you need to get started the only other thing I'm gonna mention is that I've set up a Google Drive folder with all of the necessary files that we're gonna be using in this video and in the series and that link is actually posted in the description for this video and I'm just gonna paste it into the browser here just so you can take a look at what this looks like at the moment. Right now there's something called the website template and basically this is already a folder set up with all the files that you're going to need to get started on a, a blank project. And if you're signed into your Google account, which I'm assuming you are because you're watching this video and you're subscribed to my channel, right? If so, the uh, button in the top right corner it actually says open in Drive right now just because I'm logged in to my account but for you it should say move to your drive and then once you move it to your drive you should be able to just download the file from your drive. And just note that empty folders don't download so if, if you're confused as to why those couple folders aren't there it's just because they were empty I just put them there as placeholder but you can just add those again. I'm talking about like the images, the audio, and the fonts folders. That might not even be a problem because in later videos I'll probably add things to those folders so they won't be empty. But in any case, I'm just going to close out of the browser for right now. I already have a website template folder on my desktop along with the app game folder that we created in the last video. So what I'm going to do now is just actually open up that app game folder. And inside that folder, you'll remember we have our Xcode project along with a couple of other folders. Really, we're just concerned with the www folder because this is where all of our files are kept. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and open up that folder. There's a bunch of files in here. We're not really concerned with any of that either. Technically, you could use the files they have in there already as your base. But in this case, I feel it's just easier just to start with the blank template that I gave you. So what we're going to do here is I'm actually just going to select all of this stuff except for the Cordova files here. Uh, I'm just going to select all these and just delete them. And then once that's done, I'm just going to go over here to the website template and everything inside of that folder I'm going to copy and then paste right over here. And once that's done guys, we are finally ready to get started on this app, which is awesome. So what I'm going to do now is just actually go back and then drag this www folder down into edge code or whatever text editor you're using and there it is just like magic we've got all of our files ready to be edited so I'm just gonna go ahead here and click on the index.html page now rather than start on any coding right now I guess I'll just briefly explain what some of this is if you're not familiar with it so in here we've got obviously our title which doesn't really mean anything when we're developing for mobile but we've got our links to our scripts on the bottom and then we've got a link to our style sheet right up here on the top and then we've got a couple of tags that are commented out here that you use for mobile in this case we will be using those and then I've just got one div in the center it's strictly just for testing and I'll show you how to use that too later on Next I want to just jump over here into the styles folder and there's the main.css file that I'm going to open. And in here um, there are a few styles that we've got going on and this is, this is actually what's called a CSS reset. 
Different browsers have different default styling for different elements. And this is just an easy way to neutralize all those defaults. I also included a couple of lines that are commented out here. The top part here being for custom fonts. So if you actually use the at font face tag, you can set new sources and font families for custom fonts in your fonts folder. And we'll talk about the other lines later on, but right now I actually want to jump over into the scripts. And inside the scripts folder is actually a main JS, a jQuery, and a jQuery UI. And we're just going to look at the main right now. So inside the main JS file, there's just a function here, and this goes along with the testing div on our index page. And I'll show you guys how to use that later on. As for the jQuery files, uh, just don't worry about those. Don't open them up. Don't change anything. Uh, if you don't know what jQuery is, it's basically just a library of easy-to-use JavaScript functions, and we'll take advantage of those a lot in this video. All right, everyone. Well, that is going to wrap up video three, and I am really sorry that we didn't get to start coding like I said we would, but I promise we will start next video because there is nothing left to do besides code. So be sure to stick around for video number four, and if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. All right, guys, thanks.